we have just decided to go um, with all our friends round to a lovely little bay for a few days for the weekend um, in Grand Anse and or Petit Anse, I'm not sure which bay it is actually. Um, but anyway, we managed to finally leave that anchorage, we managed to get all the weed off that's been growing and now we're sailing again and it is really good because it meant we packed everything away because we started like sprawling everything all over the boat. So um, yeah, we're on a nice little sail and um, we're, we're about, I don't know, half an hour away. So we're looking forward to it. You and me, we're family. The bond that we share is as deep as the sea. No matter how rough things may come to be, you and me, we're family. It's like money in the bank. Bonjour, mon ami. Would you give me back my joie de vivre and let me bid a dude along the deep? Bonjour, ma chérie. The time for love is aujourd'hui. I want to see just what a French kiss ought to be. It's a really busy anchorage here. There's like loads of party boats, as you can see over there, and uh, there's loads of like charters. So we're going to go pole fishing and spear fishing over there. So today, our friends from Black Moon, who we first met in Turinam actually, um, have decided to show us how to do some spear fishing. Um, they're really good at spear fishes and uh, they know exactly the type of fish that are edible and which ones to avoid. And so Darry and Ewan have been having a couple of lessons in spear fishing. including the GoPro so dad had to go down and try and find everything and we think we found everything so now everything's wet yeah I was spear fishing um, over there and then I got stung by a jellyfish twice because there was a jellyfish so we just went to swim around to do some pole fishing and spear fishing. Uh, Darry caught two fish, I think. We're back now, um, probably gonna get a shower. And it's good because I put the water in my water gun, put it on deck, and now I've got a warm shower I can wait for. Having showered the gun, I just warmed up. Oh. Nice warm shower. Benefits of being a child. Salt, mixed herbs and uh, lime. That's basically what I'm doing. It's going to taste amazing. For a small fish, I thought it'd be a bit bony and skinny, but it's really nice, meaty fish. It's really 
really good and uh, tomorrow if there isn't a jellyfish bloom I might go again. Oh. What happened to the jellyfish? Um, I accidentally swam through a jellyfish bloom trying to get a bigger fish but so I'm quite happy with the day's catch. So we carried on towards Fort de France, the main city. Been uh, a great couple of days. We've got up with some friends on the docks and uh, had a few drinks. And uh, we also did some fantastic snorkeling. Um, it's probably some of the best snorkeling we've ever seen with turtles and lionfish and uh, all sorts of fish, uh, all sorts of reef fish. Today we're gonna go and look at some turtles. Uh, over at the rock over there. So let's go! Yeah. Kids have got so much more confidence in the water. They can free dive and stay quite relaxed when they're snorkeling. It makes it easier to watch what is going on down here and have a lot of fun. We saw a turtle over there and about three lionfish and loads of uh, surfish. It's been really cool. So we came from Fort de France yesterday and we uh, anchored overnight and uh, now we're just going to carry on to St Anne's to uh, prepare to leave. So we're just going across this channel and there's two windsurf that just come across the whole channel really fast. He even took his hand off to do a thumbs up just going past. <laughs> The snorkeling wasn't the uh, only time we saw the wildlife. I, mean, I think the kids were actually more fascinated with seeing the rats in uh, Fort de France than they were um, seeing the, the sea life under the water. Um, Derry thought those rats were particularly cute. That's my second favourite animal, definitely. What's down there? There's loads of cute rats and there's a baby oh, no, there's one. There's one, there's one. Look, and they're clever, they climb up the bins like it's a ladder. What do you think of them? They're definitely probably my favourite animal. Yeah, maybe. But then it is on the bin. We got up really early because uh, we wanted to get around the corner before the wind really kicks in. But um, again, we're plagued by these uh, fish traps which are marked by these clear water bottles and they're really hard to see until you're right on them. And we really don't want to get a prop wrap um, before we get back into St Anne's. So we're going to get back to Le Moran. We're going to uh, fuel up, uh, replace some gas, fill up with water. Having stayed here for a couple of months, the hull has got covered in uh, weed and all sorts of things, so we had to clean that as well. The anchor chain is covered in weed and stuff, and the, actually the bottom of the boat is starting to build up with stuff, so we need to try and clean some of that off, really. Instead of going to the beach this morning, um, we decided our exercise is going to be to clean the anchor chain.
And Rowan's friend showed her how to use the hooker system so that you can breathe underwater and so they could clean the propeller and rudder together. So what's it been like in Martinique? It's our first experience of the Caribbean. We really like this island. It's, it's French and it's, it's got some lovely little bays. We haven't done a lot of exploring. We've kind of settled down in St Anne really because it's got a really nice beach. It's got a nice little town. And if you want to think a bit bigger, you've got Le Marin, which is uh, only a dinghy ride away. We've done that for most of the time, but we have um, obviously been sorting out my finger, which was broken. So we've been back and forth to hospital just getting checkups and x-rays and it's all looking good. So we did get to see a bit of the island. We went walking when we could. We also went up to Mont Pelé and we climbed to the crater, which was a really exciting thing to do. Then after we also came back and then we went up the coast a bit with our friends and um, all the other team boats really um, and that was really good fun. We've kind of got buddy boating with them really up the coast. We went to a couple of places up Port France, had you know some fun with them and then um, did some good snorkeling and came back. We haven't repa repaired the mainsail yet because we haven't managed to get the, the spare part for that yet but we're waiting for that. Then we're going to go back to our boat we're going to put the dinghy away, the kayak, the paddleboard, pack it all away and early tomorrow morning we should be leaving at the crack of dawn really and head to Curacao. Here we come. A big thanks for watching and especially thanks to our patrons who make these videos possible. If you'd like to become part of the patron family then follow the link in the description below or just put Mothership Adrift Patreon and I'll take you to the right place. You and me, we're family. The bond that we would really love to hear from you. So if you'd like to leave comments, no then go to our Facebook page or Instagram or even to our Patreon page where you can connect to us family. immediately. And don't forget to check out our new t-shirt designs available on our merchandise store. Stay by your side. just so much hassle just for taking this video.